Hello everyone, welcome. My name is Bad Coach. How's everybody doing? Today we will be talking about traffic. How to reduce it, how to make it go away. And we'll be learning a little bit about scripting, just really, really high end, and how to create, uh, or in this case, add a script to your, your server. So let's do it, gods. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is go to your QBCore framework directory, open your resources, and we are gonna create a folder. A folder named traffic. Two Fs. After creating the traffic folder, go into it and create two text files. If you do not see the extension txt at the end, click the view option up above and look for this little option and place the check mark on file name extensions. Because if you remove it, it removes the txts. If you have it on, it is important that it does have it on. And these two files, we're going to change your names. The first one, we're going to call traffic.lua. And the second one, we are going to call fx manifest.lua. What these two files do, this one tells QBCore, hey, you gotta load this, this, this script over here. And this is the actual script, which will have the information to change the density of the, of the traffic and pets. First, we have to go to, not like that, use your favorite editor and edit FX manifest. In here, uh, I'm just gonna copy the text I have here because all FX manifests are very, very similar from one another. Um, the only thing you're, we're going to use here or change from the original one is the description. In this case, we're gonna put traffic. The version, it's not important. You can place anything you want. Just leave it like this. But this is the most important part. Client underscore scripts. This tells QBCore what files to load. In this case, we want it to load traffic.lua, which is, let's put this over here, which is this file right here. This part is also an important place. This is something to do with uh, script versions and all that. We, we don't worry about it, just have it in there for, for the script to work. Save this file. And now we're going to open this file, edit this file. Uh, we're going to go back to the website. We're going to open this file right here. And then we're going to copy all of this. The easy way to do it is just click on this one that says copy raw files. When it says copied, go over here, paste, and you're good. Uh, to explain a little bit about this, it's not much. There are two variables. The only thing that you will change on this file. If you want to change other things, you can do this searching for what these commands do. For example, these are 5M commands that control densities of PEDs and or vehicles and parked vehicles actually. I didn't know it used parked vehicles. Uh, the frequency, one is 100%. Uh, if you want half, put it 0 0.5. And this is 50%. And, but to test it out today, we're going to put it at 0, 0 to show that it does work. Um, I usually put it at 0 0.5. Uh, save this file. Boom. 
Okay, now we have to go back to your QB core framework config, uh, server config. Edit this file. I already have it open. Um, you can put this line at the end. Just maybe create a section. Anything you put under, be, after the hashtag is going to be a comment. So let's say uh, my changes, my script changes. Changes. Missing a T, there we go. And we're going to do, we're going to tell the config file to start it up. We're going to use this instruction, ensure, ensure, and the name of the folder that you just created, which is traffic. Save this, and you're done. Uh, you'll have to restart the server for this to work. So let's start it up. As you can see here, it did start the script. Traffic. As you can see, there's nothing. Ghost Town. No cars, no pets, no nothing. Um, so let's change a few things. Let's um, open the traffic file again. Traffic.lua. And let's put this at 5. Save it. Restart it. That, there's traffic again. You've got traffic. And peds. And that is it. That's how you control the traffic and pet density of QB Core traffic and pets. Um, I really do hope you enjoyed the video. There will be more videos coming. I've been having a little bit of problem with time management and working on that. Uh, if you guys have any suggestions or comments, please leave them down below. And if you did enjoy the video, leave a like. If you want to be informed of new videos and all that, just hit that subscribe and notification button. Thank you all for the support, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye!